Welcome to 70 System, this is DMG, and we're going to be talking about amazing success and spectacular failure. How do crits in 70 System? So if you'd like to support these videos, check out patreon.com forward slash 70 system and the rewards that are on offer for various different levels. So this video is about how to perform crits, seeing as we have a single one as a success, how do you get crits in 70 system? This is where there's a bit of a divergence from standard role playing games. We would normally roll a high number or a lot of of the similar numbers in a pool and then you would get a critical in this you actually choose when you have a critical success or what we refer to as an amazing success so you would spend a story value token which we spoke about in the previous video you can check that out to find out what story value tokens are so you can spend a story value token to achieve an amazing success so essentially once you have rolled and you've got a success you then tell the director i want to make this an amazing success and that then allows the player to describe the, more than just a success, you then basically are successful beyond what would have been normally possible. So you, in, in combat, for instance, you would do more damage, you would add an effect to the attack, uh, you may hit more than one person, there's a variety of different effects, and the idea is that the player comes up with what this amazing success is and tells the director, this is what happens. Obviously this needs to be balanced in a way that, you know, it's not like I just wipe out the entire enemy that's standing in front of me. That's not the sort of thing we're talking about. It needs to be significant, but not extremely powerful. So that you negotiate with the director as to what you both feel is, is, is a good, amazing success in, at this point. So, you know, if you're, you're fighting an orc and you strike them and get an amazing success, you just lop its head straight off and it dies immediately. Something like that is acceptable. Or you do double damage, triple damage, whatever, it's, you know, it's up to you. There's no hard and fast rule as to what specifically should be an amazing success. And there are so many different types of checks and things that you'd be able to do that it really comes down to you as a player as to what you feel should be an amazing outcome for this check. Of course, on the flip side of that is a spectacular failure. So at any point in the game, you as a player can choose to have a spectacular failure. So in other role-playing games, generally this is when you roll a one, which obviously in 70 system, that is a success. So um, whenever you fail a roll here, you can elect to take a spectacular failure. So that means something bad happens, something unexpected, something that has a negative effect on your character. What immediately happens, as well as this negative effect, is you earn a story value token and you therefore um, can actually then cash that in later to do amazing successes or use the story value token in the other ways outlined in the story value video. So again, you have the choice as to when things go wrong and you have the choice as to when things go very, very well. So that's a, a little bit different from your standard role-playing game systems. It helps you as a player to control the narrative of what's happening to your character. So if you like this video, click the like button. You can check me out on Facebook and Twitter forward slash 70 system. And in the next video, we are going to be talking about economic value, notoriety, and fame. So I will see you then.